Welcome or welcome back to Budgets and Dreams. My name's Jen and I'm on a journey to pay off £27,000 worth of debt with a goal of paying off £10,000 in this year in 2022. Um, so thank you ever so much again to everyone who has liked and subscribed. Um, it just means the world to me. I say it every week, but it's true. Um, it means so much to me that you're all here following my journey. Um, I hope you're enjoying the content. I need to make a big shout out to um, Simple Budgets, who gave me a shout out um, in a video last week. Um, it was the kindest thing to, for you to have done, Sarah, and um, I just really appreciate it. So if you are here on Simple Budgets recommendation, I hope I'm living up to expectation. Um, first of all, before I kick into anything, I do need to apologise if I sound a bit nasally this week. I have had COVID. Um, it's not the first time I've had COVID. In fact, this is actually the second time. Um, so I caught COVID in the Delta wave and now I've caught COVID again and I assume it's um, Omicron. Um, but yes, so apologies a bit nasally. So the plan today um, is I'm going to give you a bit of an update on my spending over the past week or so. Um, I'm also going to show you my lovely new planner, which I am in love with. It brings me so much joy. Um, I also mentioned last week that I was going to talk to you about my plans for a 100 subscriber giveaway. Now, I know that seems a little preemptive because we're not there yet, but we must manifest our dreams. Um, so I have a plan for a 100 subscriber giveaway. But before we get into all of that, um, let's have a look at this week's affirmation. So last week, the affirmation was each experience teaches me more about my capabilities. So once again, I hope you got a chance to use that affirmation. Um, I did myself this week. I'm actually studying for a degree through the Open University. And um, let's say I was more than a little bit rushed to get my assignment in on time. And I thought it was going to be the most horrific assignment I'd ever written. Um, actually, I've not had my grade yet, but I think it's it's okay. So I'll let you know when that grade comes in. But yeah, that actually taught me quite a lot about my capabilities. So um, that was a good one for me this week. So what is our affirmation this week? Wow, I have unlimited power. That's fab. I love that. That's brilliant. Um, we all have unlimited power. All of us do. Um, we are capable than much, much more than we, we could ever think or really truly realise. So please give that affirmation a go this week. Pop that one down there. Lovely. So I have a very lovely young man here with me today who wants to give you a little update on his savings. So, um, oh, do you want to come and say hello? Hello. This is my savings tracker on my road to £1,000 on my journey to get a gaming PC. Oh, that's fantastic. How do you save your money? I save my money in Go Henry, and I get the money from doing chores um, around the house. And every week on a Sunday morning, I get the money that I earned. It's very good, and you're doing really well. So how much have you got in your savings at the moment? I've gotten in on, the, on those savings, on the tracker, I have £250, which is a quarter of the way there. But on um, my Go Henry account, I have 280 which is almost the next 50 milestone. Do you want to grab the iPad and you can show everybody what it looks like in Go Henry? So I hope you can all see this. In Go Henry, O has sent him, set himself a target of £1,000. Um, and he's currently got 280 in there. But he does really find the tracker, like us all, to be very useful because then he can track his progress, makes it easier for him to see how well he's doing. And I am super proud of him. I think he is an excellent example of how to look after your pennies. So well done, O. Hopefully uh, you could add your gaming PC to your tech collection, seeing as you saved enough for a Oculus Quest last year, which I'm also very proud of you for. So well done. Thank you. I am honoured to be here. <laughs> Do you want to wave and say goodbye? <laughs> wave and say bye bye. See you next time, maybe. Thanks, Ellie. Oh, bless him. He's so sweet. The amount of times I said his name during that. So if there was loads of cuts with loads of different lighting, I really apologise. And I also apologise for the change of lighting. I'm sat next to a window. I do need to get myself a ring light. Um, that will probably be in a budget in weeks to come. So I'm just going to pop the iPad to one side and we can have a look at my new planner. 
So this is my new planner. It is the Carpe Diem Pucker Pad, um, which I love. I think it's absolutely amazing. So I've been looking for the right planner and I really wanted something that was gonna bring me joy and it was gonna um, help me just really get involved in the budgeting journey. I wanna stick with it and have something to look forward to. And I saw Budget With M using this and I was like, that is the one. I'm in love. Um, to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of the front cover, but the uh, how the planner looks and how it works on the inside is just wonderful. Um, also, Amy's Budget Journey, I've seen her use this planner as well, and I think there's a few others. Um, so if you use this planner, pop a comment down below, subscribe, subscribe you back, and we can have a little planner, pucker pad planner friends club. <laughs> um, so let's have a look at the planner. It's really cool so first of all you get all of these lovely stickers um which are in dollars which is a shame but that's fine we don't need to use those um all these lovely stickers and then i've got a collection of my own stickers so i've got my no spend stickers and then also some stickers that i've stolen out of the back of a weekly calendar that we have on our wall um which are handy i'm hoping to buy some new stickers pretty soon as well to add to the collection this could be the start of something wonderful <laughs> um and then each, um, you've got a place to put your name and um, each month has got a really lovely layout. I'll show you the month layout first. We'll go back to those front pages. So for January, which obviously I haven't used, um, it's all laid out like this and you've got a lovely uh, dashboard for the beginning of the month. Your calendar, I love this. To budget is to dream. To save is to make it happen. Isn't that just perfect? Um, and then you have monthly budget sections expense tracker like that monthly bills tracker and notes and then it repeats for the following month um so why am i telling you about this planner in so much detail um oh, let me just show you quickly there's also a yearly overview savings goals savings trackers uh, donation tracker bill payment tracker debt payoff debt tracker um, account trackers which are cool um, and then also these pages, which I don't advise you use, uh, credit card information and bank information, place to put your passwords and your logins and your account details, probably wouldn't use those. So why am I telling you about this in so much detail? Well, just after I ordered this planner, um, I was thinking to myself, I would really like to do a 100 subscriber giveaway, but I don't have any available funds to like for a budget to offer any prizes and I don't create my own um, items. And so I thought, oh no, what am I gonna do? And then as if the universe heard me, <laughs> Amazon sent me two. Um, so I actually got two of the same planner. I contacted Amazon and they said, keep it. They said that it was probably more worth, uh, more effort to put it back on the shelves than it was for them just to take the hit on the 13, 15 pounds uh, that it costs. So the universe delivered, which is so lovely. So the 100 subscriber giveaway will actually be one of these beautiful planners. Um, so hopefully that's something that you're interested in. Maybe you're starting a new um, planning journey or you've fallen out of love with your old planner, um, whatever it is. So we're not quite at 100 subscribers yet, but when we get there, I will announce the giveaway and this will be the prize. So let's have a quick look at how we're getting on with our March spending so far. So I have colour coded all of these. So I've got pink is my budgeted spend. Um, orange is the sinking funds binder, my lovely yellow binder. Yellow is sinking funds jars. On reflection, probably should have done those the other way around. Uh, green is our weekly expenses like our petrol, our fuel and that sort of thing. Blue is bank unbudgeted, so anything that comes out of our bank that I haven't put into the budget. And purple is J unbudgeted, so anything that came out of my bank account through my allowance that I hadn't budgeted for. So I won't run through all of the weekly expenses because there are many. Um, we have had to do quite a lot of top-up shop today. When we did our Asda order last week, there was quite a few things that weren't available. So um, we had to do a few extra top ups uh, throughout the week, but that's fine. Um, so in terms of fund spending, so our short term sinking funds, um, O went and got his hair cut on Friday and he looks so grown up and so handsome. And um, yeah, it was it was really good, really good money well spent. 
Um, and then we spent some money on home. So that was our paper and the washers for the tap. Unfortunately, they didn't fit. Um, so that was actually refunded. So that six pounds came back, which is cool. And then out of O stuff, we actually had to get um, some antihistamine. Poor chap uh, got really allergic last week. Uh, so we had to get some antihistamine out of O stuff that really should have come out of medical or top up shop. So I'm going to pop that back into um, that jar in next week's stuffing. Um, also out of O stuff, I bought him a couple of new books and in home. That was another ream of paper that was just from Wilco's. Um, not really much else to report, really. A couple of unbudgeted, but that was the interest off of my overdraft. And also I put in £200 to cover my overdraft, but it was actually only 195 overdrawn. So I popped the five back into the bank. So that can go back into for next uh, next week's budget. <laughs> and uh, also I did spend that £1 on that chocolate bar. So, you know, I had that extra £1 last week for the quiz where I did some horrible maths. Um, I couldn't get the idea of a chocolate bar out of my mind. So I did actually treat myself on Thursday because I was feeling so rubbish um, from being poorly. And I really needed that Snickers bar. It was very important. <laughs> um, so I did get that chocolate bar. Um, unfortunately, though, I had so many plans this week to go and see friends. So I was meant to be going out on Wednesday night for the quiz. And then on Thursday, I was meant to be going out for drinks with another set of my um, girlfriends. And then on Friday, I was meant to be going to a bonus quiz, an extra quiz. And then this morning, I was meant to be going out for brunch with another set of my girlfriends. Um, and I've not been able to do any of that because I've had COVID. So that's real shame. Um, that's what these stickers are. So that's the quiz that was um, going out uh, to the bonus quiz yesterday, which didn't happen. Um, on the flip side, though, I've saved myself some money. So, you know, every cloud. <laughs> Um, so let's just have a quick look. Oh, I forgot. We have something very special. Wednesday the 9th was a no spend day. So here it is, my little no spend sticker. Uh, I was about to put that on Monday, didn't go there. There we go. A no spend. Yay! So my goal uh, is to have five of those no spends this month, um, along with no personal spending. So that's things off of Amazon and Etsy and those impulse purchases that I'm trying to curb. Um, so I don't have any money available to spend on that sort of stuff. My wants and needs list has grown exponentially this month. Um, but it's fascinating to see, actually, all of those times I put something down that I want to buy, I would have just bought on impulse. Um, and the amount of things that I've taken off the list after I've had a few days to think about it. Um, so it's a real eye opener. So if you are a bit like me and you are a bit impulsive with your money, <clears throat> I definitely recommend writing a list of things you want and giving yourself an amount of time to think about it before you buy it. For me, that's a month, which might seem like a really long time to some people. And I've got to be honest, it is killing me <laughs> I really want to buy these things and I want them now there's so many things I want to get off of Etsy shops um and uh Amazon and oh I can't wait till uh, the next budget so hopefully I'll be able to share with you a few things that I get next month which is exciting and also my goals I have have a win week and this relates to my habits so towards the end of last year I had a good old think about my life um, and I wrote down everything that was bothering me about the way I was living my life and decided to come up with ways to fix it. So since then, I have created some habits. I created my goal and that was to live life with financial freedom, with purpose and with joy, um, which is the purpose of the channel. Um, purpose and joy being my biggest aim and goal in life. So I actually live with a chronic depressive um, condition, along with um, a couple of other things, which I won't go into today in too much detail. But um, so I have to really focus hard on uh, looking after my well-being and uh, making sure that I'm constantly pushing, thriving um, towards work, working towards something. Um, it's just the way that it works for me and it keeps me focused and it keeps me going. Um, so yeah, so have a win week. So I did have a win week last week out of my habits. This week I won't be having a win week because I've been poorly, so I've not been able to do the things that I've got written down. But hopefully the week after will be a better week. Um, in a few weeks time, maybe when we've got a bit more time, this video is already going to be really super too long and I apologise for that. 
I will uh, go over my habits in a bit more detail and I might even sort of delve into how I went about the thinking process for creating the habit um, but we'll see we'll see so here we are here's my bills page um, it's a bit colourful I won't run through it if you want to know what the colours are I've got them all listed in a key up there um, but yeah everything looks like it's gone out or it's pending on time which is great um, so I'm really happy with that it looks like we're in a good place for our budget this month so that's actually it. I'm really sorry. I feel like this video has been all over the place. Um, I feel like I definitely need the structure <laughs> for cash stuffing. Uh, but hopefully you enjoyed the chattiness of it anyway. Yeah, if you do want to stick around for more, if you're not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Um, and then maybe when we get to that 100 subscribers, you, you can um, enter yourself to win that lovely planner that lovely planner, this lovely planner, although not the ones I've written my notes in. So a quick reminder, um, this week's affirmation, I have unlimited power and yes you do and believe it. Okay, thanks guys. Have a really lovely week and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>